Let's see how each of these instruments is played and how they are combined to form an ensemble music called gamelan. Bonang, a set of 10 small kettle gongs. Gambang, a wooden xylophone. Sarong Pekeng, a small bronze metallophone. Sarong Baron, a medium bronze metallophone. Saron Demong, a large bronze metallophone. Kalau dalam lagu dia main one two three five six. Dia akan main one. Dia akan main baik ah nombor kedua. Kenok, a set of three or five large kettle gongs. Gendang, a barrel drum. Gong, a set of gongs that comes in pair, one is smaller than the other. And this is how it sounds when all the instruments are played together. In this documentary, we have managed to interview a gamelan teacher with 15 years of teaching experience. She is teaching in SMK Bandarbaru Central, one of the top five gamelan teaching schools in Kuala Lumpur. Nama saya Awana Sini Bintu Abdul Hamid. Guru Pendidikan Music di SMK Bandarbaru Central ini dah hampir 15 tahun dan salah seorang guru cemerlang uh, pendidikan muzik. Yeah. So, what makes gamelan a Malaysian traditional art? To answer this question, we can look at the four connections it has with the Malay people, which makes up the majority of this country's population. Firstly, gamelan has a long historical connection to the Malay world. It has been a part of the Malay culture ever since the Hindu-Buddhist period, with its origin traceable back to the ancient Javanese kingdom in Indonesia. Kalau ikut kan gamelan ni daripada Indonesia lah dia olingga tu selak saya dia punya ni datang ke um, um, tanah Melayu melalui perkawin ni atau perdagangan saya ingat bermula di Bahang kemudian bertukar ke Terengganu nah dari situ lah menjadi gamelan Malaysia sehingga sekarang. Introduced to the Malay Peninsula from the court of Ria Lingga to a royal wedding in Pahang and Terengganu. Since then, the gamelan had become an important part of royal occasions during the reign of Sultan Ahmad of Pahang and Sultan Sulaiman Badru Alam Shah of Terengganu. However, since its introduction here, Javanese gamelan and Malay gamelan have started to differ. Yang paling jelas adalah dari segi peralatan. Gamelan Melayu ni is very simple. Dia ada tujuh saja alat muzik asas. Dibanding dengan gamelan Jawa banyak. Ha, tengok gong pun. Kalau gamelan Melayu ada dua saja. Kalau gamelan Jawa dia ada tujuh. Dorani Fasola tu dia komplit lah. Kita tonic skill tu. Ha, satu dia beza dia peralatan. Yang kedua lagu. Yang ketiga dia punya uh, apa tu uh, laras ataupun skill. Skill tak sama. Dia beta tonic yang tu komplit. Boleh buat Dorani Fasola tu dua. Secondly, gamelan also has a strong cultural connection to the Malay people. It has been played as a part of a tradition in many occasions. Even until today, gamelan continued to be played in many official functions in Malaysia. Biasanya majlis rasmi sekolah biasa guna gamelan lah. Dan uh, 
sebab dah lama bertapak mula dikenali di luar jadi ada juga buat persembahan di Istana Negara buat persembahan road show di Chopi-Chopi Komplek so, masjid sekolah, masjid kahwin ada masjid rasmi negara kadang-kadang dan juga jabatan ha, ya, kalau ada international event negara juga pernah terlibat antaranya yang uh, paling high level ialah uh, apa tu Every year Agung kan birthday So kami akan dua kali lah Pernah masuk berada di Istana Negara Untuk meraihkan birthday Agung Kami juga pernah perform yang World Robot Pertandingan Robot Satu Dunia Di host dekat Malaysia So banyak negara, about 42 country So mereka juga perform Untuk majlis perasmian Dan apa lagi Conference dengan menteri dekat Genting Mereka juga pernah pergi Genting lah untuk perform ada menteri kat sana ada event Saya tak ingat apa lagi hari guru peringkat kebangsaan pun pernah waktu tu Abdullah Badawi sebagai peluang minister Gamela ni asalnya adalah dia special dia, dia sebenarnya asal daripada istana so kalau sekarang saja dia turun ke masyarakat jelata boleh guna di sekolah dan sebagainya Thirdly, Gamelan also has a deep social political connection to the Malay society throughout history. During the old days, Gamelan is used only for royal occasion, such as the coronation of the Sultan. This is evidenced by the attire worn by the players during performance. Observant audience will see that there are actually traditional Malay costumes, much like the kind worn by the royals back then. Finally, the gamelan can also be linked to the belief of the Malay people. According to Javanese folklore, it is believed that gamelan was created by Sang Hyang Guru to summon the gods. This law is set during the Saka era, around 230 AD, back when the Malays are still Hindu Buddhists. And as the Malay accepted the teaching of Islam, the beliefs continue to be reflected on the gamelan. All the gamelan instrument, whether bronze or wood, is supported by a finely carved wooden frame. And the carving on this wooden frame are depicting leaf and flowers and various geometrical forms. This is to comply with the Islamic folk way, where animal motif on art forms is discouraged. By today, gamelan is introduced to the new generation of players as was taught as part of the musical curriculum in a few selected schools. Because of this influx of new players, gamelan music has also become modernized. The art of gamelan has also been spread to many parts of the world. Bulan 10 tak selesai juga akan ada berlangsung International Gamelan Festival. Di situ semua penggiat-penggiat uh, gamelan seluruh dunia. Gamelan ni ada kat seluruh dunia tapi cara mereka berbeza lah. Di setiap tempat, uh, macam juga kita dengan Indonesia berbeza. Memang ada lah banyak negara yang ada yang lain lain. Tahu juga lain. Kami lain ni apa tu? Kalau ikut perkembangannya, kalau tak kenal maka tak cinta. Kalau remaja mereka tidak kami lain mereka akan seronok nak bermain sebab kami lain sekarang bukan lagi tradisional seperti dulu. Dia dah meluas sampai ke diterima lah di peringkat uh, semua peringkat lah sampai peringkat antara bangsa, uh, antara bangsa. so memang peluang sebab tak ramai yang boleh main so siapa yang uh, bergiat ni memang ada peluang pergi jauh lah.